everyone, I am Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Animal Sanctuary and welcome to Super Dwarf Sunday for August 6, 2023. This week, TC had a big, oh, excuse me, I mean barn adventure. TC's been wanting out as usual and he wanted out right before I was getting ready to go to the barn and do chores today, which really isn't convenient because I had two Brettles pythons out totally resting and likely to rest all day in the spots where they're at and TC irritates them. No matter where they're at, TC finds them and he wants to lay with them or sit with them in the same spots and they don't like that. So they end up leaving and then TC follows them to their new spot and he tries to sit next to them or near them or sometimes even on top of them. So rather than put TC in an exercise tent, which he doesn't really like anymore because he's, he's still confined and he likes to be free, I took him to the barn with me and you're gonna get to see that and he spent about I don't know an hour an hour and a half outside in the barn with me and then he was I think pretty happy to be back inside because he actually had to experience nature it's hot here in Colorado in August it is in the 80s it's been close to 90 a few days not as horrible as other places in the country and the world for sure but hot it's been more humid than normal because we've had more rain than we ever get and there's tons of flies and so he got to experience the heat and humidity from the real outdoors and he got to experience a little bit of wind and flies and i'm not sure he was a fan so i think he was happy when i put him back in his actual enclosure for once and i'm just going to share this experience with you also note that you're getting to see me when I'm in the middle of doing chores. Cleaning animals, feeding animals, it's hot, it's muggy, I was sweaty. I got up and didn't comb my hair. I hadn't showered or anything yet. So that was just me, how I look when I'm out doing labor, manual labor <laughs> with horses and other animals and I hadn't showered or even combed my hair. It was just like that when I got up. You're getting to see me now after I've showered and I smell okay, at least the animals think that I smell okay, and I've actually combed my hair. Um, I can't say anything about my face because I don't wear makeup, I'm not a fan, I've, I've something I've never done, I don't even own any. So the face is the face, but I can tell you that now it's a clean face and my hair is clean and it's combed and I'm not sweaty anymore. So. I wasn't a big fan of doing chores in those conditions either. So TC and I are both happy to be back inside and hopefully you enjoy seeing a little glimpse of the horses and the barn. And uh, you can tell me what you think TC thought about his experience. This is not the first time he's been out in the barn. He has gone out to the barn with me probably a half a dozen times. So about six times, both during the day and at night. So it wasn't like a new experience for him. It isn't something that I do with him very often. He's been with me over four years and he's only been out there about six times. I'm headed out to feed horses. TC wanted out. I have Brettles pythons out that I don't trust him with because he irritates them. So he's gonna come out with me and hang out in the barn while I feed. Right, TC? Oh, okay, we're out here. TC's been out here before. He's met horses before. I'm just gonna find a place for him to chill out while I'm feeding. And hopefully he doesn't escape from wherever I put him. And I'm thinking he could go on this saddle stand right here. So let's see if he decides to do that. Except I want him up higher. I want you up higher, TC. It's too low. That's more like it. Isn't that much better? You can be way up high. Do you want me to put a saddle on here for you so that you have more to, to rest on? And this way it's gonna take you a really long time to make it to the ground and give me time to do chores in between checking on you. What do you think about that? I think that's a good idea. Okay, added a saddle for you. So now he has rungs to climb on or wrap around and he has one of my saddles that he can rest on if he wants. Good boy, TC. Do you find a comfy spot?
Okay, so time has flashed forward and now we're about an hour or more later. TC, are you ready to go inside? Huh? Are you ready to go in? You're gonna have to come out from under the saddle. Come on, let's go inside. Good boy. Oh, all right, got you. Where's your head? There you are. Good boy. All right, TC, do you wanna go back in your own home after you've had an adventure out in the barn? That's what I thought. You had an enrichment experience and now you can go in there and think about it and rest in a familiar location, your home. Good boy. Well, TC seems happy and content for once to be back in his enclosure. He climbed up on that branch when I first brought him back in from outdoors and he seems comfortable and content now. So let's see how long that lasts before he decides he wants out again. Well, everyone, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Super Dwarf Sunday. We do this the first Sunday of every month. We feature one of our two Super Dwarf Reticulated Pythons or some Super Dwarf related content. My other Super Dwarf Reticulated Python is Ryder and he is turning two years old next month. So I plan to feature him in next month's Super Dwarf Sunday if he cooperates. He has actually been coming out quite a bit this past month. So he's coming up on two years old and he's becoming more adventurous. He's also in a more highly trafficked and busier area of the house. And so I think he's more curious about what's going on and it is prompting him to want to come out more. And I did get some photos of him out um, during this last week that maybe I'll include next month, but hopefully he wants to come out and I can get some live footage of him out for his birthday month in September of 2023. So until then, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals. Mm -hmm.